Charlie Baker, governor of Massachusetts. This guy is a piece of shit. Okay? You read this shit right here. <clears throat> Most young people don't even know about Harvard Pilgrim, how he fired a lot of people, gave himself a million dollar raise, and more than a million. This whole thing is medical shit, right? COVID is right up his alley. This guy is a piece of fucking shit, man. Really is, man. Who paid for Charlie Baker shit? Yeah, right. You kidding me? Fucking every little rat bastard. Lobbyist. You don't have to read this, but I mean, I can't read it. I know I've been following this prick since he was in the Weld administration. He destroyed health and human services, ruined fucking child protective services, you know, just fucking made it easy for just to come in and snatch up your kids and drag them off to a fucking foster home with strangers. This guy is one rat fuck. Honest to God, what a fucking pile of shit. Really, I can't even go through this fucking thing. And then, of course, he's here with his fucking buddies at Pfizer, Ratsky. In the fight against this global pandemic, we truly believe that science will win. Within the walls of its Andover facility, drug maker Pfizer is forging ahead with the development of a vaccine against COVID-19, now in clinical trials. We're working on making as much vaccine as possible so that it's ready. Um, we hope to file as early as October for some kind of authorization. But while progress is made on one front, concern for another. We're currently looking at a lot of the clusters that have popped and to determine where and, and how those clusters happen. Governor Baker warning about COVID clusters seemingly born from private parties and events. In Chatham, a testing site was open after more than a dozen people tested positive following a house party. Local health officials say there were no masks and no social distancing. In Falmouth, eight town lifeguards tested positive after an off-duty party earlier this month. The bigger issue is not so much the nature of the size of some of these gatherings, especially the private, uh, the ones that are going on in backyards. They go on TV and they can say whatever they want. No fucking proof. Nothing. They just say what they want. These are our numbers. Fuck you. Believe us. Too bad. And they just keep talking, even though everybody I talk just can't stand this shit. This is so much bullshit. Nobody knows anybody who's sick. If they did, they don't know them. They hear about it. No one knows anybody. Millions of fucking people, and no one knows nothing. What a fucking scam, really. What a bunch of rat pricks. I'll tell you what, this will be the dumbest fucking generation that... that It'll break all records, man, the way they're fucking up the education system. It's unbelievable. It's like that. The bigger issue is, um, honestly, the behavior generally at those, which is not socially distanced, no masks. You know, every person you touch is every person that they've touched. The president of the Massachusetts Medical Society says when people do not follow guidelines, it risks rolling back reopening. Ultimately, Sarah, it's that... Uh, people seem to think that perhaps there's either magic to being outside, and that if you're outside, you don't need a mask. And it's simply not true. Fucking green screen, that fucking piece of medical. Like, like every doctor and nurse pretty much isn't a piece of shit rat licensed by the government. They'll say anything they can, get their fucking money. They don't give a fuck. They are rat scum. Now, Governor Baker did not say whether we're at the point to roll back our reopening, but he did say what is happening here is similar to what is happening in Rhode Island, and there that governor is tightening restrictions and slowing down their reopening process. Live in Andover, Sarah Conchi, WCVB News Center 5. Yeah, fuck you, Sarah. People also need to be responsible about traveling. Last week we announced that on August 1st, the Commonwealth will have a new travel order for all visitors and returning residents. Folks arriving in Massachusetts from any state that's not been deemed lower risk for COVID-19 will be required to complete a travel form and quarantine for 14 days. People do not have to quarantine if they can produce a negative COVID-19 test that was taken within three days prior to their arrival. 
The new order also applies to Massachusetts residents that are returning from out of state from high risk states. Those who don't comply can be fined up to $500 per day. Please visit mass.gov slash MAT, tra MAT Traveler for more information. Yeah, fuck off. What a rat prick. Honest to God. Can't make this shit up. You can't even enforce something like that. They're just saying it. This fucking fear shit. Keep everybody afraid. It's unbelievable. Well, I don't wear a mask and I don't give a fuck and they can kiss my ass. You people better wake the fuck up. Better wake up.